Hi, this is Carol from Calibri, and in this video we're going to talk about three different modes that you can use in the Calibri scanner. The three modes are the geometry tracking mode, the marker tracking mode, and the texture tracking mode. The first one, the geometry tracking mode, you use when an object that you're scanning has a lot of distinct geometry that is really different from one side to the other. For example, people. People have uh, a lot of uh, unique geometry, so the uh, algorithm won't be confused about their different limbs or legs or arms. The second mode is uh, marker tracking mode. When do you use marker tracking mode? When your object doesn't have any unique geometry, objects like walls or pipes, or objects like, uh, that are too big to be scanned without markers. Objects like cars or boats, especially uh, cars rooftops uh, because they are flat and lack any unique geometry. The third mode is uh, the texture tracking mode. You use the uh, texture tracking mode when your object doesn't have again unique geometry as in the marker tracking mode but you cannot put any markers on it because you want to keep the texture or the colors of the object. And so for example you can use texture tracking mode to scan paintings like this, or vases, or anything that lack any distinct geometry but have a lot of distinct texture on it. And now let's use uh, the geometry tracking mode to scan this uh, beautiful young lady. And usually we use the, tracking, uh, the geometry tracking mode to scan people because they have a lot of unique geometry, but it doesn't, it don't have to be only people, but any object that has a lot of unique geometry. And to start the uh, pro uh, scanning process, you need to go on top of the object and try to get within the green zone. Uh, the green zone means that you're in perfect distance between the object. Uh, the blue zone means that you might be a bit too far away from it, but it still be captured by the scanner. And the red color means that you're too close to it. And so you should start from the top and go slower and smoothly, capturing all the sides, uh, all parts of the body, so they are kept in the final result. Today I'm using the turntable, but you don't have to. You can walk around the object and you'll get the same result as with the turntable. As a rule of thumb, it's great to remember not to scan a face more than one time, uh, because you can get a lot of uh, texture that you don't want to have in the final result, like lazy eye or some uh, different facial expressions that a person might have uh, shown. And another point is uh, the hair, uh, especially its color. If uh, the hair is black, it's probably might be better to scan it a bit longer than just a blonde hair because it takes a bit more time to capture all the data of it. And last thing, uh, when scanning a human face, don't forget to scan the area uh, underneath the chin, especially if a person has a beard, because you can get some holes in it. So it would be a great idea just to tilt your scanner a little bit lower to capture that area. And not only the area under the chin, but also the area of armpits, because uh, sometimes you get holes there too. So just give it a, a, a bit more time while, while scanning these areas. Now let's talk about markers. Uh, the marker tracking mode is the second most popular tracking mode that is used on the Calibri. Uh, when do we need uh, markers? We need markers when we scan an object that doesn't have a lot of unique uh, geometry uh, and also doesn't have uh, different colors on it. As an example, uh, this doorway that is pretty much similar all over its surface and it has only two colors here and in order to get uh, markers you just need to print them out on the regular office printer as you can see here is just a sheet of uh, paper that was printed out with the markers on it so they were stick uh, on the surface of it also uh, we put uh, in each package with the calibri magnetic markers that you can use with cars or any objects that are made of metal how to apply markers? Um, you just take one of them and you put them on a flat surface of the uh, object 
and be careful not putting uh, markers on any crevices or any geometry like this one so you won't lose it in the final result and also uh, we recommend using at least five uh, markers per frame so the preview mode uh, allows you to see all the areas of your future scan and it lets you know how many markers you have and whether there is enough of them on every part of the uh, scan as you can see here there is a little count that shows how many markers there are in each frame and it sometimes it says six sometimes seven but we recommend to keep it at at least five so when you start scanning try to stay in uh, perfect distance so you don't move too close just stay somewhere in the middle somewhere in the green zone because if you move too close you might lose the tracking and try to do it at a 90 degree angle to capture all the markers so your scanner doesn't tilt and lose the tracking what happens when you lose tracking uh, let's start scanning uh, this doorway with markers and just start and for example you come too close to the doorway here and you lose the tracking what can you do in this situation you can either start over uh, because you haven't scanned a lot of the surface so you wouldn't lose much but if you scan already a lot of the surface you could uh, continue from the place where you left off and then align it in the uh, software when you scan big or industrial things most likely you will be using uh, the marker tracking mode for things like cars boats airplanes and pipes uh, markers are pretty useful uh, you can combine uh, raw data that you captured in uh, marker tracking mode and in the geometry tracking mode for example you were scanning a large object that some areas of it that had uh, geometry on it and some didn't like rooftops for example so you put markers on the roof of the object scan it with markers and the rest the sites you scan without markers just in geometry mode and now let's talk about the texture tracking mode uh, this mode is the least popular to use on our scanner but still it's uh, very useful when you scan objects like this thermos that doesn't have a lot of unique geometry but it has a lot of uh, paintings all over it and just random colors that can be used as some kind of a texture markers to scan the object um, so when you start scanning in this mode, uh, you may see that uh, the frame per second rate is a bit lower than in the uh, geometry tracking mode, because in geometry tracking mode, we usually see uh, about 35 frames per second. But here, as you can see, there's about 25, 26, sometimes 27. And as you can see the difference between the geometry mode and the tracking mode, that the texture flash uh, flashes more often than in the geometry mode often i get asked this question how fast or how slow i should move my scanner and how fast you do it isn't as important here as how smoothly you do it and try not to jerk your arms and do it in one careful uh, gesture starting at the top and try to do it at a 90 degree angle from here and then just go smoothly without any jerking to the 90 degree angle from the side and you capture data here too uh, when you go to the settings menu there are three options available to change the first one is texture brightness um, it affects how dark or how bright uh, the texture on your object will be uh, the second option is frequency of texture frame just uh, keep it at 15 or 25 uh, for better result or at zero if you don't need any texture in your object at all and the third one frames on screen most people they don't change the settings so if you want to know more about it read it manual but in general we just keep it at 32 the software is smart enough to switch between texture mode and geometry mode if there is not enough texture on the object 
So as uh, you might have noticed, the texture flash is more frequent in the texture mode than in geometry mode. And the LED light itself here is totally harmless to human eyes. Uh, although no uh, testing has been done to patients with epilepsy, so if you have these conditions, uh, that would be a great idea to refrain from using this mode. While scanning in texture mode, please remember to keep as many colors in one frame as possible. As an example, this thermos that has a lot of distinct colors on it, so it helps uh, the uh, texture mode to scan an object. And don't point uh, a scanner at the object with only one color, for example, this wall. 